Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today I have the Tower Top M2. This is an air compressor that works off of 12 volts. So you can hook this up to your vehicle, fill up your tires, or uh, you know, swimming raft, or your sport ball. Anyway, let's take a look at this product and see what it's all about. Little instruction manual, some bubble wrap around the compressor itself. It also has a couple of attachments and looks like a couple of extra fuses as well. So we've got a single fuse, a ball inflator, one of those uh, raft inflators, and then a couple of adapters. Here on the front, there is a light that can be used for emergencies. If you turn it up here, there is the display, which will show the pressure that is set to, so you can't uh, over inflate something. This knob right here will do plus or minus, and I believe it's also a button itself. That turns on the light, and that is the power button. It's got some Velcro. Just gonna undo that real quick. And that will allow the air hose to be unraveled. Looks like it's about two feet, maybe just a touch more. And then the actual uh, power cord, looks like it's doubled up here, which is a convenient way to store it. So that's about five, I'm gonna say about 10 feet total for the length of the power cord. At the bottom, it's got some rubber feet and that will definitely keep that from sliding around a little bit. And then up top there is a cooling fan and then on the back there's just an entrance for some air to flow through. This is the model M2. The rated voltage is DC 12 volts, max power 120 watts, max current 10 amps, working current 8 amps, max air pressure is 100 psi. To inflate from 20 to 35 psi, less than 2 minutes. Inflating time 0 to 35 is about 4.5 minutes. Working temperature, it's got a negative 10 C to 60 C. Continuous working time for 35 PSI, 60 minutes. It has units PSI, bar, and the KPA. LED light power is approximately 0.5 watt. And the accuracy of the gauge is plus or minus 0.5 PSI. Okay, I'm out here at my car tire where I like to keep these somewhere between 40 and 42 PSI and I think it is pretty low. So let me go ahead and find out what this is here. We got 30, 35, so we are pretty low on this tire. So I've got a little power station out here. I'm gonna plug up my cigarette lighter. Let me just turn this unit on. Okay, that pops on immediately. Let me bring you in close here so we can set this to uh, the desired PSI. This unit defaults at 40, and you should just be able to turn this knob. So there's uh, 40.5. Let's set it at 41, and that's where it shows down here. Now let's go ahead and hook this up to the tire. There we go. All right, it says it is at 38 right now, so it's a little bit higher than what my other gauge was showing. We'll go ahead and power it on, and we'll see what we get here. 39, 40, 41. There we go, it stopped on its own. Oof. <laughs> I'm not sure if I had it on there all the way. Nah, it's still a bit low. Let's put it back on there a second. Okay, how are we with the other gauge? Yeah, right at 40, so that's close enough for that. Ideally, you would have enough of this wire to wrap around your car. Let's just see what we got. Yeah, I think for the average small car, this is gonna be sufficient to get to your tires. If you had a larger truck, maybe not. 34 or 35, somewhere around there. It's also rather low. Okay. Yeah, this thing's saying 34. 
Well, there, there we go. It's moving up some. 35, 36. Yeah, so it's also low. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Also, wherever you have it set, there's a little dial around here that shows you how close you are to achieving that. Okay. Let's see if it did what it's supposed to here. I'm not seeing it went up much. Let's try it again. It's not getting up there. Okay, still showing 38 here. Let's crank this up to 43 and see if it changes on the tire here. Okay, as soon as it turned off, it dropped back down to 41. All right, let's see what the uh, readout is here. Oh, okay. I'm still seeing about 35. Not doing so hot on this one. Let's try a different tire. This tire does have a different stem on it, so maybe it's just the one over there. And this one's at 32. Definitely needs to be filled up here. All right, let's see where this puts it at. 34. So maybe that's the problem. If this gauge right here is just showing too low, then the other tire over there would have been close to 40. But nonetheless, it is too low. So Let's drop back this drop this back down to 41 and see what we get. Clicked off at 41. Oh, I got so we're at uh, 38 or so. So yeah, if this thing right here is reading too shy of what this one is, it's close. Um, I like to see them a little bit closer. Um, let's see, go ahead and try it one more time here. Yeah, it's like 36 or 37. Yeah, 36. Let's put a little bit more in there. So about 39 to 40 is where we're at now. So. Is this right or is this right? I'm not sure. Um, but having it right there on the edge, like this tire is ready for 44 PSI. So I'm happy if it's at 43, great. If it's at 40, okay. Both of those are all right in my book, but I just was hoping to see a bit more consistency between these two. All right, let's see if I can get this thing semi back into its compartment here. So it did come with a piece of uh, webbing and velcro so let me just kind of do a quick wrap up a little bit tight there yeah so i don't know it's just gonna be kind of a, a mess i guess okay my honest thoughts here on the tower top compressor the fan turns on immediately as soon as power is supplied to the unit so you have to watch your um, battery because that would drain it over time whenever it is actually on and pushing air it runs at 124 watts um, the display on my power station showed that. The buttons are easy to operate. The light comes on when you push light and it does start compressing air whenever you push the power button. The little knob allows you to spin that um, little dial around and set the PSI that you want it to stop at. But that's kind of uh, the issue I was having. I, my tires were at like 33, 34 PSI. I set this to 43 and it would get up to 43 as soon as the compressor stops it would drop down to about 41 42 somewhere around there uh, so it wasn't holding the pressure in the tire to what the display was reading and it was off by at least two from my old faithful one here which i think has been working quite well for years and years 
I may be wrong, <laughs> but I think it is. So when I set this at 43 and the tire was reading at 33, it brought it up to about 37 or 38, which is definitely an improvement. If you were on the side of the road and needed to um, fill your tires up, this would definitely put more air in your tire. Um, but how accurate is it? I'm not really sure um, that it is as accurate as it should be. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Uh, if you want to check out this unit, I have a link in the description down below. As always, I'm Seth with Tools, Tech, and Gear, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.